Hi guys, Wanda here, and nothing particular tonight, just a quiet evening painting, and just thought I'd hang out, paint with you. So, if you're out and about and you're painting and you just want to have some company, jump on. If not, watch later. <laughs> so I'm doing a praying mantis. I think I'm going to use um, some foils to embellish wings and, you know, pretty up this girl. I had a request for a praying mantis and I have never done one, so yay! I'm excited to do something new and to share it with you. I'm going to be using my Chromatech pens with this one, the watercolor brush pens. I'm going to turn on the light. Hello, Hope and Kathy. Hello. So, no, um, I have one kind of big announcement, but not, um, I'm just jumping on tonight to paint with you. Nothing huge. Um, I did order some humongous rolls of the special foil that I use. <coughs> Pardon me that we can't get <laughs> we have trouble finding this so the way i ordered it is in four centimeters uh, you know it's the larger roll it's this size so the they'll come in this size i'm not going to be providing any kind of boxes but uh, they will be available in about six weeks um you can get 11 i'll give you 11 120 centimeter lengths um for five dollars if you're in the united states i'll mail it to you for free and canada as well um if you're out of the country it costs like an arm and a leg to mail it and i apologize for that <laughs> but so there's that anyways i'm going to work on this praying mantis and uh, see what we can come up with here so my ideas are to use some foil in the wings and the body and probably as much foil as I can fit in there but I want to do um, you know a body with this one let me show you what I'm looking at so inspiration I love all of this in the wings but I think I want to go floral. <laughs> I know. I'm crazy like that. Like um, maybe something like this in the wings. I'll, I'm going to make the wing green, but maybe do this as a wing. Hi, Shay. Who all we got on here? And Donna and Joan. Hope, Kathy, Shay, Donna, Joan. If I missed anybody. Oh, Marie. Hi, Marie. Um, I think that's everyone so far. Anyways, just hanging out with you guys. So if you're painting, just paint. Paint with me. You don't have to paint this. Just let's paint. Paint, people. <laughs> All right. So this is Ginger Chromatech watercolor brush pens. And I'm just going to lay down some color in here that I'm going to be blending around. Um, in no in particular fashion, not really anyways. Just blocking color. So what's everybody up to tonight? What are you working on? Thanks, Susan. Hi, Susan. Wouldn't that be fun to do dots on? Look at the wings. I'll bet you could do some lovelies with that. I'll have that image available if anybody would like it after I'm done here tonight. And I might just be hanging out uh, quietly painting. I don't have a lot to talk about. <laughs> you 
this is scribbles. I'm scribble painting. This is the the fifth grade, fourth grade uh, in me. So don't judge me. <laughs> like I said, I'm really not that uh, talented at painting. Just um, moving color around is what I do. Pretty much. Hi, Deborah. Welcome. So we're just hanging out tonight painting. So whatever you got going on, maybe grab your evening tea or wherever you at. Is it morning, evening? Where is everyone? I am central time zone here in Texas. You know, praying mantises can be really beautiful, and then some of them are really kind of ugly. <laughs> you know, they're just this blah green color. So this one's kind of the blah green color, but I saw pictures, pictures of some incredibly gorgeous praying mantis that I want to sort of incorporate and blend the two. So, I don't know what brand of mantis she is. Hey, brand. What would that be? Species? But when I get done with her, she's going to be extra. Let's just put it that way. Martinique. Where is that? Oh, my goodness. I don't know that one. Uh, Marie is from Martinique. I hope I said that right. All right, Susan. Happy dinner time. So grab your paints and your whatever your project is that you're working on and just have a paint with me tonight if you want to. I'm just blocking in some color here to be blended in a moment. The French West Indies. Thank you for clarifying. I did not know that. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks for hanging out. Kathy Marie. Is it Noel? Marie Noel is from the French West Indies. What time is it there? Oh, it's got to be way different, huh? Is it tomorrow already? <laughs> I think we have Belinda on. Hello, Belinda from Missouri. Kathy Washington State. I'll check back up there in a few minutes. Let me get this going so you guys aren't bored to tears. <laughs> you guys like my scribbles? <laughs> Just scribble, scribble. What is this? Marigold. Might be too yellow, but we shall see. No, oh, that's good. That's good, good. Sort of like a camouflage I'm going for because I'm covering all this with a foil. It's going to be a transparent foil, but I want the background to be. Um, you know, sort of a basic color. <laughs> 
Florida, 10 p.m. Sunday. Wow. Oh my gosh. That's a, uh, what time is it? It's nine here, 12, 13 hours ahead of us. Good Lord. That's a long ways away, Marie. Shay's in Florida. Let's see if green, did I use green already or did I use fluorescent green? I think I used fluorescent. You guys are supposed to be keeping track for me. Just kidding. Sorry, I'm an upside down colorer. Oh, Saturday, okay. <laughs> I was like, okay, we're on the moon. Nope. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, so it's Saturday. So that, what is that? Um, right now I lost my math. If it's nine here and it's 10, so you're an hour and you're only an hour. How is that? It's had a Saturday here. Okay. So you must be. Somewhere in the near t same time zone around here. I'm going to grab the foils in a minute and show you guys my thought process so you don't think I'm absolutely bonkers here. These are super fine points, so you can really get in there. All good. Shay says she can see where it's going. Nice. Thank you. I think I'm looking at the wrong legs on my... <laughs> you ever do that? You're looking at the wrong part of your picture? Yeah, but it still works out. It's all good. Let me cut off some foils here so I can uh, map out some things. If you look at your foils when you get them, like, you know, really like, um, take a look at them. Some of them have some pretty neat designs of them. Like this is a snake skin foil. I'm going to turn off the flash so we can see it better. The design. But see here, like in this area would be like the head of the snake if you were to think about it to wrap around the snake so you would see like the nose here the cheeks and then coming up the back so that would be that part of the snake so I kind of want to use that I don't know if it'll work but <laughs> snake skin praying mantis <laughs> whatever maybe I don't know maybe I should just go this direction with it up the back. I just think it's going to be beautiful on here. You know, I think I'll just keep it going this direction. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. And then I can get the gold in, the greens in there. And then for the wings, I want to go completely out of my mind and do these fun. Let me cut these two. These really pretty flowery honeycomb wings, I think. Or should I do leopard? Let's see. Or tiger. Tiger. That's tiger. 
I do have leopard. Hold the phone. Let me grab it. Or leopard. Or the other praying mantises that I was admiring online have this beautiful pink and blue and rainbowy bottom. Ooh, that looks good there, huh? Bottom uh, wing. Okay, I think I'm going to change gears. So this could be the bottom wing. And then I'll do something different on the body. Because that might be too much snakeskin, right? If I do green end that. Too much. I'll be thinking about it while I'm coloring. So how do you guys map out your stuff? I want to do that and this. So I'm going to do this one in the bottom wing, but the other, no, I like it that way. That way, this one in the top wing. Nope, I'm changing it again. This in the bottom. I don't know. Anyway, that's going down here somewhere, like so. That one's up there on these two. I have an idea for this. Hold, hold the phone. I'm not leaving. You know, I might not have to paint because <laughs> I have these cool foils. They're very opaque, but they are so cool. And they're in the color family. They are very abstract. It's like an abstract art roll of foils. But maybe I could incorporate this for the bottom wing. Would that be completely ridiculous if I did? That for the two green top wings, that would be ridiculous, right? But look how beautiful these foils are. I'm going to bring them back just so we can ooh and off for a minute. Look at that. Cherry blossom trees and brass deer with antlers that are divine. Oh, the antlers are the cherry blossoms. <laughs> I think they're cherry blossoms. Now I don't know. Isn't that beautiful? We have some more deers in here somewhere. But they're little ones drinking from a stream. Let's see if I can find that one. This has a whole scenery playing out. There's like mountains and sun and butterflies. Isn't that pretty? And we have feather and pearls. I don't know. I guess I'll be thinking about it again while I'm working. I'm so undecided with this one. I thought I had it all planned out and then I didn't like it. Is this the one? Look, more butterflies. Pretty. And then we have like stained glass and marble and paint. Let's see. Kind of, I don't know what that, maybe a paint pour stained glass looking thing. I like this one. Isn't that pretty? One more. I 
Look at that. Isn't that fun? So much you can do with these. Make a really cool patchwork something. Okay, back to painting for a bit. So I'm thinking some more. It's Persian green. These are Chromatech watercolor brush pens. So school's out now and my son is 11, so he thinks he gets to stay up until, you know, next year. He's a good boy, but he does like to stay up late. Grass green. There's so many different colors green in a praying mantis, or at least in this one. Coming together, not too bad, huh? You know, I wish I could play music. Facebook will shut down the live. Isn't that terrible? Music would be so good right now. Who's on here? So you guys working on anything in particular? Are you painting or sculpting or resting? Am I keeping you awake? <laughs> All right, I think I'm gonna start foiling. Just gonna lay a little bit of green here. And this one is pretty, there's where I went with that. Not quite, but you know, that's what you get. <laughs> you know, I gotta put the white dots in my, in the eyes, cause it's bugging me. 
terribly bugging me. <laughs> this is just a um, Uniball Signo. This is a broad Louis. Who got it out there? Does that make such a difference? Awesome. That's so good. Yesterday I painted all day. It's so awesome. It's so, uh, it's like a, I don't know, a big therapy session for me anyways. You know, for this um, bush down here, bush, <laughs> tree, <laughs> tree branch, <laughs> bush, I'm going to be doing... Uh, probably I have this great wood grain foil so I'm just gonna lay down some brown so that if it I usually paint it black but that way if the foil misbehaves um, at least there's some color underneath it that's a tip I've got um, when you are using foils try to put down the color closest to the foil you're using underneath it because it helps, believe it or not, um, if you end up with a temperamental foil. And if you guys wonder why I use watercolors a lot, it's because I am impatient. I don't like to wait for things to dry. So, I use watercolor. And I actually think they're quite beautiful on Santorini, even on Riverstone. They're just gorgeous looking. I like the way they oxidize and everything. And funny enough, on a Riverstone, you can't smell it on a Santorini, but on a Riverstone, when you use the watercolor pens, it smells like rain. Because <laughs> it's like a wet rock, you know? You could smell them. It's so weird. I don't know. Am I nuts? Do you guys ever wash your rocks and smell rain? Do you guys ever wash your rocks? I think a long time ago last year I posted a few, I made a few posts, me washing my rocks in my wheelbarrow. <laughs> I think y'all thought I was crazy. Wow, it's hard to believe it's been that long. Okay, you guys are witnessing me. I got foils everywhere. Okay. So I'm going to start with the crazy one and work out from there. Because I really want this one in there. But should I do it that way or... This way. Looks better that way, huh? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Maybe more like that. Hi, Kimberly. All right, I'm getting the gloves on and the glue, and I'm just going to do it. I'm going to dive right in there and do that. Undecided, but it's like um, the gut says go, so and my brain's saying no. My gut's saying, yeah, do that. Okay, that's good if the gut says go. It's the brain I don't trust. That wacky, wacky brain. New brush. You know what? I'm going to use the new beetles. Yay. This was pretty good deal yesterday. I enjoyed it a lot. Great glue. 
Beatles nail art foil glue. Good stuff. My light. I'm going to paint this in here. Um, I'm not going in every single individual little place, but I am going to break it up in sections. So I get that definition. Definitely separating the wings. You guys, I saw this uh, project, it's glue gun art. Anyways, AB Creative is a YouTube channel I watch all the time. She does some amazing things and you know that um, the paint pour girl I did a while back, the butterfly kisses and spring wishes, um, I was inspired by her. Anyways, she does this glue gun art that is amazing. She uses the glue, she makes the design and then she paints the canvas and it's <laughs> so good. In these bigger sections I'm gonna separate them with the lines. I'm going to stop and cure here. One cycle. So let me catch up here, see if anybody's on. So, Kimberly, where are you? I'm excited. So it's going to go on in sections, obviously. That's a long 60 seconds, huh? Okay, you ready? Are you sweating? The great thing is this, but this particular box of foil is amazing every single time. This is the third time I've bought it. That's how amazing it is. And it's beautiful every single time. Never lets you down. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah, you can't go wrong there. I think that made a beautiful wing. So down here I'm going to do like that. I'm also going to get in here where I missed with the glue.
so guys if you're just coming on I'm just hanging out tonight I'm just painting with you not a not a big thing just spending time I think this uh, praying mantis is going to be a longer project so I was feeling lonely <laughs> You know, if we can get to, is it, I think it's a crazy a number on, uh, on um, YouTube. I think it's 10,000 members you have to have before you can go live on YouTube. But if we can do that, we can talk back and forth, I think. Who's all on here? Kimberly and Shay and Kelly and Marie and Joan, Kathy and Belinda. Hello, everyone. So I'm going to get these ready for the top wings. I'm trying to think. If I want that or the animal print one. I will make sure to link um, this set of foil and the beetles glue there. Okay, so here I want to Okay, I gotta do a little touch up here. That's when this guy comes in handy. Ten seconds. What do you guys think of that wing? Yeah, I think I'm digging it. You know, I keep looking around, but I really think I'm going to go with this. <laughs> I might double foil this wing. Because that just looks so good down there, doesn't it? What could I use for a green foil down there? Like a transparent green. Oh, a floral, like um, a small green floral would be good, yeah? Let me see if I can find one and show you guys what I'm speaking of. A tight floral would be more like what I mean. Okay. I think these came with Mac Art or SX. I think it was Mac Art might have been SXC. They come in a set with two glues and uh, the foil. Two foils and two glues. So I'm thinking like, no, not tight enough. Come on. I might even have to, they're not tight enough. <laughs> not enough flowers. Oh, that's pretty though. 
Is it too busy? Okay, one more chance with these. You know, I have an idea in my brain, a picture, and it's just not happening here. Well, it's not green enough either, but it's really pretty. I think I'm gonna go with that one or this one. No, oh, that's too white. Okay, I think I'm gonna try this one. If all else fails, I will double foil. So, do you like roses or the green snakeskin? Here it goes. I love it when you put the glue on because it makes the paint so vivid. It's like when alcohol ink, you know, when you put the sealer on and the alcohol ink is all of a sudden bright and vivid again. I'm going to stop there and torch that because I see some bubbles. Give that a cure. While that's curing, I'm still going to have one more peek <laughs> before I commit. You know, the other thing I could do is the shell, abalone shell, oh, or this one. Alright, one last peek before I commit to the roses. 
What do you think of that one? I'm going to go with the roses. That way we could see the paint job. And I'm also going to do a thing here if I can do it without. I'm going to use two different kinds of foils. Section it. It's easier if you do this, like put the glue on the part you're working with and then do the next glue. But I changed my mind part way in. I just want some of these here. Okay, and then the roses. The clear is still a foil too, so even though it looks like there's nothing there, there's still something there. Okay. See, not too much, but yet it gives it Let me pull this up there so you can see. Isn't that neat looking? Let me turn the light on so you can see. Well, that might be too much. You can see that way. I like that. The rose, look at that detail. I'll be touching up the liner in there. But I wanted the belly there to, it's like the, what's that called? The. Let me show you here. This part. Okay. See, I'm not crazy. See, I'll separate it again. That way it'll make sense. When that dries, it'll be matte, so. Going. I think I'm going to do the upper wing now with the other floral. Do you guys see where it blew away to? <laughs> Holy moly. Okay, it's here somewhere. Shay, you said you were eating ice cream earlier. Now I want ice cream. I want like southern butter pecan. You know, I live in a small town called Seguin, Texas. And we have, we are 
known for having the world's largest pecan. So there's a bit of that history for you. <laughs> Geography, history, what is that? I found it so we've got that one with the fun honeycomb on it or this one with the holographic polka dot I think it might have to be the honeycomb. I have this one too, but I think it's too busy. Yeah, too busy. I'm gonna talk about is there such a thing? See, I told you I was impatient. Um, I think I'm going to cut them. That way I can separate the flowers. Pull the top one off first. Make sure you went. Ooh, nice transfer. Beautiful. Oh, I'm so glad I picked it. <laughs> Gorgeous. <sighs> there it is. The light off. Okay, back to the body. It's actually going faster than I thought. Thanks for hanging out with me. Looks like I got one committed soul out there. Oh, there's two now. Thank you. I think it's Kimberly or Shay. So, of course, um, this queen praying mantis is going to have some rhinestone bling bling. And, of course, I don't know where yet. grain for the branch underneath. This is so cool. I like this foil too. So I have this wood grain or like the burl wood or walnut. I use this one. This is like my branch go-to. I think it's time to reorder. <laughs> Don't get confused, Mama. I'll put that on the body and that would not be good, yeah? 
it'll look like a walking stick then. <laughs> We have those here and they are big. They're like huge. <laughs> Walking stick. Okay. Between. Oh, word. Come on. Get off me. Foil. Let's see what I want. One there. Individual roses. Pretty. I gotta do these beefed up leg parts too. You know about praying mantises? Holy moly, they love to snack on their mates for supper. Yeah, so the men sneak up on them from behind and hop on while the they are eating somebody else <laughs> so that the men can get their business done before they get eaten. Well, that is commitment, yeah. All right, branch next. Hi, Tammy. So I'm just on painting tonight. Kind of a quiet night around here. I missed you guys. I'm lonely. So I thought I'd just spend some time painting with you. I am working with the new Beatles uh, glue too, so it's not new glue. But I think I got it all. Half of this with the light and half with the flashlight. I think for the legs I'm going to do the transparent foil in the clear. It's just holographic so it'll give it that like shine like a crunchy shell you know. <laughs> crunchy. Yeah. This one, like uh, this one or this one, 
sort of pearlescent. Get in there. Don't want a wooden praying mantis belly. I know this foil is temperamental, so I'm going to grab my stylus. Yeah, it doesn't like to lay down. And grab my stylus and my light and cure it as I go along and scratch it in there. If you come across these ones that don't want to separate at all, cure them through the plastic. See, now it's lifting, laying down. It um sometimes it just needs extra. And it's too cool to not work. I love this foil. But it is a pain. make it work. Not too bad. If you get foil where you don't want foil, you don't have to live with it, especially if you're working on a Santorini. You find something very pokey and sharp. I have something somewhere. Anyways, you can scrape it off. I'm not sure where my tool went, but I have a resin poker tool thing that I scratch it off with. Anyways, then uh, reline around that. Fill in that. Sorry for the door slamming. Okay. Nice. Nice branch. Now we're going to do the deadly weapons. Where should I put the rhinestones? In between the eyes, maybe?
Do you guys ever have trouble getting into tight places with your glue and the brush? I don't know if you can see how I'm standing up on end here, straight up and down with the rock. That helps a lot to get it into those little tiny, tiny places. And I'll show you, I've kept the glue off of the black. See there? And I do that by bringing that little tiny point into those areas. I think I'm gonna do our face too with the clear. Mandibles. Scary woman. But they're so cool. Okay. I'm going to cure that. I can't remember what, what praying mantis I guess praying mantis is just have black eyes, right? I have some cool black foil somewhere. Oh, here it is. I wonder. It's kind of that large glass, broken glass. So, oh, nope, that's the one. Yeah, we're gonna do that. <gasps> oh, I hope it works. I've had some temperamental black foil. I think it's this one though. That's temperamental. Yep, okay, so I know which one not to use. When I come across foils like that, I don't recommend them to you guys, so don't worry. You know, this black foil was hard to find for a long time and I never see it, so it might still be hard to find. I actually had someone send this to me. Have no idea where it came from. It was anonymous. Clear. Clear, clear. Okay, so I want to do the legs with this one. These are hard to know which way goes down on the rock, so you can feel it by dragging your fingers across it. And whatever side drags goes on the rock. Also, usually the side that goes on the rock has a dull texture to it. Sometimes you can't tell the difference. Once you find the right side, you can mark it with this Sharpie. Write a word on it like this side. That would only make sense if you were reading it the right way. And then if you had it on there the wrong way, it wouldn't read right. You know what I mean? So this is the kind of foil that I ordered in bulk. So these right here, they're the larger four millimeter, four centimeter, sorry, uh, four centimeters wide, and then they'll be the same length, 120 centimeters in length. Okay, got all that. That looks really good. Good choice. All right, I'm going to do the eyeballs and then I'm going to do the legs down here. I got a little carried away with my black liner there. I'll have to do the white dots again, but. There's a big bubble in that eyeball. Oh, sorry about that. The noise I don't know what they're gonna say so <laughs> forgive them yeah let's see that was a big bubble 
and put a little bit more glue there. Round it out. I'm going to spot cure that one. La 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 la. <laughs> Hang on just a sec. I'm on live, guys. So professional, yeah? They were all in bed. Okay. Let's see here. One eyeball. Two. Look how cool is that? Nice eyeballs. Look, they follow you just like a praying mantis would too. Huh? <laughs> so cool. So very, very cool. Put the white spots back. see this <laughs> I better line them since I did the others So praying mantises have these like little tiny toes, little two little toes on each foot thing, claw foot, back feet. They kind of get lost in design, but I'm still kind of. You know, it's kind of morbid that they eat their mates, but I like learning about animals. That's how I beat my fear. When I first came to the South, actually it was the Midwest, I was in Tulsa, Oklahoma for a year. I saw my first cicada and about had heart failure <laughs> because they are very large, <laughs> very, very large. Oh, I forgot to paint that back leg. Anyways, they're they're huge, you know. If you know a cicada, they're they're like a humongous looking fly. If you've ever picked one up, you know, after they've passed away and fallen to the ground, they're huge. They're like the size of your thumb. And they look like a fly, but they're beautiful. They're like this iridescent -y green color like this. And um, their story is pretty unique. They're most of them they're the longest living insect. They live for 17 years, <laughs> one bug, but they live in the ground. And then they come up out of the ground and they, what's that called when they change metamorphosis? They attach themselves to a tree, a limb, you know, whatever, about three, four feet off the ground. And then they, um, dry and then that shell cracks open and they have wings and they fly and they have one purpose at that point and that is to mate they don't even have mouths they don't eat they just mate and then they lay eggs and die and the males have this big drum on their chest and they rap on it and that's their mating call and cicadas are very loud they're also the loudest bug so they make this noise that will it's deafening I think they measured it before I can't remember what they said it was but it's like some of the loudest noises you'll ever hear that are net natural noises you know not man-made crazy loud I'm loving this hi D so we learned about cicadas. I might be doing one of those pretty soon. 
they're so beautiful. It, this is the year of the cicada too here in the south. We're going to have a cicada bloom, which means 17 years ago they laid a whole bunch of eggs. Every year there's new ones, but every between some of them are 13 year cycles, some are 15 and some are 17. But um, this is supposed to be a big year of the cicada. But this praying mantis, she likes to snack on her men folk. <laughs> I think it's hilarious. They sneak up from behind her, hop on for the ride while she's busy eating something else so that they don't get eaten before they finish mating. I, I know I've said it twice, but it's like, holy moly, that's some serious business. Like I said, they're committed because they know their supper, but they gotta, you know, do their thing first. She is becoming quite beautiful, you queen thing. I'm trying to think if I want to use the same. I better use the same ones. Let me put that like that. Cure that that way. Hi, Julie. Let me see. I got to back up here. You guys are talking to me now. Uh, yeah, I can post that. Absolutely. Look, pretty cool, huh? I also have it in black and white, the drawn version. This, I found both, so I was pretty excited that I have the color. Somebody painted it or colored it, but here's the black and white. I'll post both. Don't do what I'm doing unless you're really, really good. Because if you try to use a part that's been used already, it'll pull your design off of your rock. If it hits these places with no foil on it, they'll stick too tight. I didn't mean that the way it sounded. <laughs> if you're good. Just, if you haven't done it before, be prepared. Because if it sticks to a place, like I said, that's not been or that's been used already, it will peel the glue and everything off the rock. I'm just going to do this over here. And it back here. Pretty. Alright, what's next? Leaves. Got it. <laughs> Still sticking to me. <laughs> Holy moly, it's sticking to the dryer sheet. That's static. Okay, leaves. I'm contemplating. I want to. I think I want to do those full foil, full green. Um, crackle, uh, broken glass. This is too. I might do two tone, like um. See the green and yellow and that green. You guys want to see some fancy foiling? Let me see if I can find my other green foil. Alright, we have 
matte green large glass crackle oh that's the same <laughs> that's the same box of foil all right well got two of those so what do you think let me see here oops i gotta catch up there's some more messages hang on Oh, I'm sorry, Julie. I hate that one. That happens with Amazon. Uh, let's see. <laughs> okay, I'm coming to Florida. That's cool. Julie says she needs a personal in-face two days. What does it say? Two days worth of tutorials here in Florida, please. <laughs> Wow, it's so be nice to be so loved and wanted. Thank you. So, yeah, I'm just going to hit these with the uh, limey green. That way, if I miss with the foil, it'll be painted under it. Just like we did here on the branch, so it won't show so much. Let's see. This is turning out pretty cool. I was not sure about it. You know, I've never done one before. And the request came in, and I thought, you know, that's a good one. I like to be challenged. I have foil everywhere, like rolls of it just strung around. You guys would be so disappointed. <laughs> Not together here at all. You know what I need? I need to win the OCD contest for, you know, to buy some time with someone who's OCD. To come over and do their OCD thing in my art room. Organize me. <laughs> it's not a bad thing. Kind of wish I had a little of it. <laughs> so, do you guys know, like, if you won the lottery, what would you do with the money? Obviously, the first thing I would do is uh, call my attorney and uh, put it in a safety deposit box until I could figure out the legalities of it, you know. And then I'd go about my business of uh, daydreaming, you know, planning out how I'm going to spend it. But I definitely would, I want to uh, help my family lift up everyone and um, but I don't want to injure them you know you don't want to just give money away because sometimes it's the worst thing you can do for people um, like I would definitely give 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 a lot until it hurt but I would also give uh, in ways that would benefit futures you know like education housing things like that jobs creation building schools and things like that. Definitely some art programs. And of course I would want to buy me a uh, life coach, <laughs> live in, cook for me so I can learn how to feed myself better. Not that I don't know how to cook, I'm just, I make really bad choices. You know, I eat the wrong food and pay for it. I'm not even looking up there, so let's see who's on. In a minute, I'm gonna cure these few, and then I'll do the other ones over there separate.
was hoping to make it, but I gotta get some more glue. Sorry. Oh wow, who's it? <laughs> oh, it's she shed. Good idea, Julie. Yes. I need a she shed. You know who's got a cool she shed? D Daigle. Oh my goodness. It's to die for. She's put up videos and tours of her uh, workspace. Her husband rebuilt out their garage and it is amazing. It's perfectly organized. You know what? I think I, we, we should hire D. Uh, D's like, uh, no, thank you. <laughs> Are you still on here with us, D? Hi, is that, De did I see Deborah or Debbie? Oh, my thing is going bananas. Debbie, hi. Actually, now I have some more glue. I'll just finish these over here. It's wrong glue. <laughs> I seriously need to win the lottery so I can hire somebody daily to come in and clean <laughs> Because I get out, I work until I'm like ready to go to sleep and then I pass out and I leave my stuff just sitting here. Like literally just sitting here. However, it is. I'll just put this down and walk out. <laughs> I try to at least cover the paint, but hmm. Yeah, I'm that girl. Now this is just in this room. My house is clean. My dishes are always done. My laundry's done. But uh. Yeah, this room, I cannot seem to keep it together. It's like I'm scattered in here. But that's how my art is, you know. I just, off the cuff. What were the pens I used to color in the leaves? Those were the Chromatech watercolor brush pens. I used uh, green was the one I used in there. We are almost done with her. I'm trying to think of where I'm going to put the rhinestones. They were requested, so. Where? Oh, where? I might have to look at another picture. I need an iPad. My own. My son has one, but he has a like to share. Good to go. And what did I decide? Should we do two tone leaves? Let's do it. Show you maybe three tone. So when I do that, I take two different textures of the color. Like this is, I call this small shattered glass, crushed glass, and large crushed glass. That is so pretty. Anyways, uh, yeah, I take two or three or whatever of similar colors. We'll take three. I got this green here too. Just a bit. And we will make our leaves all kind of crazy. So you just kind of Be careful with those pieces that are used there. You don't want to cut this down a bit. Just pop, pop. Okay, so that's that one. And take the darker one Oops. do 
do some pieces. And then this one to finish it up. So you really rub that one around. So you cover all of the glue. See the different colors in there and textures. I love those eyeballs. They're looking at your soul. <laughs> okay, I think I should line this wing out a bit, but I don't want to ruin it. I get nervous about that. It's so pretty. I might take a small liner, a uh, micro, mic, micron. O3. Let's see what I can do here. Two of those pens, only 34 bucks. Nice. Three free water brushes. True. Every time I touch to see the co comments you guys are making, my phone rolls. Up to, oh, there's my ceiling fan. <laughs> How did I do that? <laughs> Sorry. Come and quit touching it. I tried to do it where I had my computer on and was um, looking there at the comments, but I, they're not real time. They're way delayed. So I'm sure you guys wait a long time for me to answer your questions or make a comment to something you've said. What do you think, guys? Do you like her? Hi, Yvonne. Oh, you're welcome. Rhinestones. Almost forgot. Okay. Let's do that. I think I know what I want on her face. I have like two left, but they're so perfect. These little, oh, it's broken. Okay, there's one. Last one. It's like a 
elongated teardrop looking it would fit there perfectly and let's see I don't even know maybe just the one huh You can give her a rhinestone tattoo. I don't know. <laughs> mm, I don't know. We'll do some rounds. Like that, that's not that's not too bad, huh? Give her some nice jewels up the body. I don't like that one though. Okay, I'm gonna pull it up. You guys tell me what you think. Do we like it? Oh, good idea. At the top of the antennas, I got little bitty ones. Thank you. See? Not thinking. <laughs> I'm not thinking. You're thinking. You know, I have those other ones too. I could do like a crown. Where'd it go? Oh, for Pete's sake. <laughs> they always get turned over backwards. Why do they do that? Okay, so like that. Something like that. Obviously, I'm not going to put these on until I put on the resin. Yes, I think I like this. Looks good, guys. Well, thanks for hanging out with me forever tonight. I was very lonely and needed some company. Thank you so much. I'm going to jump off because it's getting late and my family's waiting for me. I love y'all. Thank you so much. Have a good night. Thanks for hanging out for this. And let's hope our requester is happy. Take care.